<laughs> I know y'all thought the part of loving was over. It's not. It's not. This is the Harlem Smiley story, man. Y'all been tuned in to the one and only Dirt Gang TV. Y'all still tuned in in there? You know what I'm saying? And this is Side B. Flip the tape over, man. That's all it is. If you haven't watched Side A, go back and watch Side A. Yeah, my bad. I had to get it to it. Little bro knocked on the door. It sounded like Smokey when he was banging on his mom's gate. Mama! She sounded like the police. I hate these California gate doors. I understand why they got it though, but God damn, no should be sound like the police. Boy, y'all out here in California, stop building these apartments with no bell but the gate. Motherfucker don't want to hear that. Do, 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 do. That shit sound like the police every time somebody knock on the gate. I know y'all probably thinking like, damn, why you cut the intro short? Hey, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I had to, you had to make sure everything's secure. Y'all ready? Y'all tuned in there, man? The Harlem Smiley story, part 11, side B. Let's go, man. We rolling. Dirt game. Yikes. The side block. No. It's curvy low, nigga. You are now tuned into Bossman Tough Beats. So, yeah. We in Dunkirk jail. The judge just gave me a court date for like three weeks after from when I went to my, like from my first court date to the next one. I'm like, yo, what? Just to try to find out who I am and all that good stuff. So I'm like, I didn't, I mean, I'm not too familiar with the super jail system like that. I didn't been locked up two or three times pre prior to this. So I'm like, this is crazy. Like I heard stories like, you know, this is something that people usually go home once they find out who you is, but I'm like, what's going on here? So, as I'm in there, I, that's all I'm trying to think about right now. I'm not thinking about nothing else in the jail. I'm like, yo, my two and a half OZs is over here at Smoke Up. I know they smoke. Yeah, they my cousins, but you know how it is. You can't trust nobody in this world. Then all of my money is there. When we left out, I literally had... Uh, my money inside of my pants the night before. It was hot, so I just slapped. I had my basketball shorts on that I was sleeping on. I literally just grabbed my ID, like $20 out of my pocket, and then we, that's when we went to the store. We wasn't going to get nothing major. It was mad early. It was mad hot. So all of my bread, for the most part, is inside of my pants pocket. Nobody don't know that, though. I ain't tell nobody. So now... We in jail, and this nigga tried to give me two packs of ooze and noodles for the half chicken. So I'm thinking like, yo, this is the good deal right here. This is a good deal. My man run down to me like, nah, this is not a good deal. And a white dude, why you sitting here? He going to tell a white dude, why you sitting here trying to lowball this guy? Because you know he just came here. If you want this half a chicken, you about to give up five noodles. So I'm like, damn. Rough out here in jail. Five packs of noodles for a half a chicken. A half a chicken don't even look. I mean, I'm going to be honest. They would like, they would, this when I first went to a jail and I heard of somebody cooking in jail. Literally, like when they say they cooking, they take that half chicken up. They add the mayonnaise to it because upstate commissary, they still had Oreos on there. They still had like Cheez-Its on there. They still had uh, juice packets on there. They had mad stuff on there that they didn't have in the jails in Riverhead or in uh in Riverhead or in uh on Yapek. They don't got those uh, out there no more. They used to have them, but they did the whole healthy thing and went on a whole nother tip with it. So what they used to do is they used to take that half chicken, they used to crumble up like some pretzels to give it a little extra salt. You know, crumb up crumble up the uh Doritos. Add the mayo to it. Slap that on some bread. You got like some crunchy half chicken. You know what I'm saying? So they used to bust one down during lunch or dinner. Save the rest for the little, the little late night snack. It is what it is. But me not knowing that, you know, I'm just getting there. I don't know the upstate uh, jail rules and all that. So the white dude like, yo, I'm not giving him five. Um, I'm not giving him five. Uh, five packs of noodles for. The half chicken. He was like, I'm not. Then he told the other dude, why don't you just mind your business? Then the black dude said, what? He black. He is my business. What are you talking about? The next thing you know, they came forward to each other. They were just 
start bombing on each other. What? That was crazy. CEO's coming in, drag both of them out. Now I go to the other. Now I'm, I'm like, yo, who's that about? they like, yo, the other crib dude from Insane, like, yo, I told you, you got to just like stick to the blacks. See what I'm saying? He like, we don't really do no transaction with them unless it's worth our while. He was like, sometimes we'll do more transaction with the Spanish dudes than we'll do with the white dudes because they be trying to, you know, get crazy. Especially they see, he said they only did that to you because you first got here. <clears throat> so now I'm like, yo, what's going on here? I'm like, damn, do, do I look pussy? Is, 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 am I one of the soft? I don't get it. That has never been my forte. So now we're going to turn it up a little bit in here. Next morning come up. They got the morning cart. Go on a morning cart. They got my favorite cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But it's different cereals, though. They got tricks. They got Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I'm noticing every time the black dudes come up there, he's giving them tricks. Because every person allowed two things of cereal. So he's giving them tricks, and then he's giving them um, uh, uh, Cheerios. But I'm noticing when the white dudes going back to their cell, they got um, they got Frosted Flakes, and they got... um. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So now a lot of people like Cinnamon Toast Crunch because what they do is for sugar wise, for your coffee, you can add the sugar from the Cinnamon Toast Crunch into your coffee to make it actually make your coffee actually sweet. Sweeter than what it is because when they bring the little coffee jugs in the morning, they have a little sweetness to it, but all the sugar is sitting at the bottom. So with the whoever has that morning cart, what they do is they scrape all the sugar out the bottom. And they say that for when they do eating cereal that got no that's the gel stuff, man. But if you're not running that cart, then you don't get none of that. So I go up to the dude, morning time. I ain't been there that long. I'm like, yo, let me get two cereals. So he hands me Cheerios. And I'm like, nah, I don't want neither one of these. I want a Frosted Flake and I want a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He like, oh, you got to get what I give you. What? I got to what? You, I got to get what? I walk right behind that cart. Didn't even give the other two cereals back. Just grabbed the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and grabbed the uh, Frosted Flake. And the dude grabbed my arm. And when he grabbed my arm, I looked down at my arm. Cereals dropped. Cracked them. Bing! But when I cracked them, I cracked them. And then he like backed up. And he didn't fight back. So the CEO or nothing didn't see it or nothing like that. So I grabbed my cereals. I went back to my cell. So like it's only like three people that's on the whole tier that even seen what happened. One of the other white dudes who was working the what's name with him, one of the Spanish dudes that was behind me waiting to get his cereals. So the Spanish dude was like, yeah, they always try to do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't keep the sugar at the bottom of the coffee jug and then still want to keep all the sugar cereals. Nah, you are not doing it like that. Nah. So meanwhile, the dude who was like in charge of the black dude, he had to fight. So they took him to the hole. He not up there no more. So this is literally like, I haven't even been, I, I've been in there two days. This is my second day and not even a full 24 hours yet. The word gets back to the white dudes about what happened. The Spanish dude went back and told his people. So eventually I'm like, I told the black, like, yo, I just cracked on this white dude. See what I'm saying? He's like, what, what, what happened? What? I'm like, y'all sitting here eating tricks and Cheerios. Do you not see all of them down there got Frosted Flakes and they got Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I'm not eating no Cheerios and tricks. Y'all bugging. I'm not about to. Y'all Y'all really let them get down like this? though. Y'all crazy in here. So now at this particular time, now I'm cool with everybody in there, all the blacks. The Spanish dude, for the most part, it's not like we're not sitting at the table eating with them and all that, but if somebody want to play spades or whatever like that, that's how cool it is. See what I'm saying? You know, you want to talk to them, someone on TV, us in there watch TV, cool. But the Spanish or the blacks don't do that with the whites. Listen, this is jail politics. This is not this is all jail politics. So, a week passed by, nothing happened. It's little fights inside of there, you know, little scuffles. It's jail. It is what it is. The black dude who they sent him to the hole for uh, sent him to the hole for the week, he come back. But the other dude he fight, he don't come back. The black dude that's running the blacks come back. So, and I want to say his name, but I don't want to put him out here because you know. That was so long ago. I don't know his life. I haven't talked to this dude since then. The only time I ever seen his jail, seen this dude was inside the uh, was inside the jail. So I don't want to put his name out there. You know what I'm saying. 
Because you know when you were jail, everybody used government names. So I don't want to put his government name out there like that. But anyway, he comes back. The word done got back to him in the hole. What happened up here? He looks at me like, yo, I've been waiting for somebody to step up like this forever. I'll be trying to tell these dudes, don't let shit like that go down. And they'll just let shit like that go down. Talking about the other black dudes. And I don't get it because I'm like, damn, like you got GDs. I mean, it, it wasn't like, it was probably like 20 black dudes on the tier. So out of the 20 black dudes, maybe like six of us was gangbangers. But for the most part, a lot of the other ones, they was Muslims. They was 5%ers. So it's like, you know, they wasn't really like on the the fighting, fighting tips. I'm like, nah, y'all bugging. Y'all going to be sitting here and getting ran. That's why y'all doing a dinner card. The dinner card is not the best card in jail. No, it's not. Anybody who's been locked up will tell you that. Especially not in that Dunkirk jail. Y'all crazy. How y'all sitting here on this dinner card? Y'all letting him up. Like, I'm saying, like, it's crazy. So he's like, yo, I want you to be the number two. And I'm like, honestly, I don't even know how long I'm going to be here. I'm pretty sure in the next two weeks, when my court date come up, I'm pretty sure I'm going home. <clears throat> so the dude, like, what you in here for? I tell him what I'm in here for, yada, yada. He like, yo, they probably got you on um on a criminal first false impersonation. So I'm like, what? I never heard that shit before. He's like, yeah. It's false impersonation is you just like lying about your name because you know you got warrants or some shit like that. So I'm like, nah, I ain't got no warrants, but I am on probation in New York City. He's like, oh, that's a hole. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah. Even if you get out for the Dunkirk charge, whatever they charge you for, New York City can hold you here until they come up here and pick you up. I'm like, I'm not in New York City. It's a little long island. I'm like, well, I'm at like an hour outside of New York City. So it's literally like nine and a half hours from Dunkirk. So he like, yeah, he like, um, they gonna hold you until they figure out what probation out there want to do with you. So now I'm sitting there tight because bullpen therapy, and a lot of y'all been locked up. Y'all know what bullpen therapy is. That's when a lot of guys in jail think they're lawyers and not like they're not qualified or anything because they didn't take no bar exam or anything, but they've been through the system for so long and talking to other people, they didn't know a lot of scenarios that happened. But Everybody's scenario was different. See what I'm saying? So the, for the two weeks we in there, nothing happening. The white dudes playing their position. The black dudes, we chilling. Spanish people chilling. Once again, it's jail. Low scuffles happen. Low arguments happen. I don't even think it was no fights that happened within that two weeks or whatever like that for the most part. Everybody's just chilling. Everybody's playing their positions and we good. But now it's like when we go up to the morning car, everybody getting equal cereals now. It's not like he's, you may not get Frosted Flakes and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but you at least get one of the two. Split. I was seeing a lot of white dudes walking around with Cheerios or Tricks. They was tight. Not a lot of sugar in them cereals. <laughs> Word. Not, not, at least you're not about to put no Tricks uh, sugar inside of your coffee. Yeah, that's terrible. See what I'm saying? So, so both. Two weeks pass by. Go back to court now. So now it's like, I'd have been in there for a week. Cool, dude come back. Now another two weeks have passed by. So now it's three weeks, so now I go to court. So now it's like July. So we, I get in court. So they're like, yeah, um, my aunt come up. You know, she like, yeah, um, the um, the they got you on criminal force impersonation. You told them the wrong name, yada, yada, yada. The dude was dead right. That's what they banged me with. Not a felony or nothing like that. See what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, yeah, we're going to let you out today for that. But... You do have a warrant from Suffolk County, a probation warrant. I said, damn. She like, yeah, so what's going to happen is they're going to release you, but then it's like they got to hold you because they got to see if, um, well, they're not, not going not gonna to release you. Let me switch that back. They're going to dismiss the charges up here. See what I'm saying? But when, um, when New York City come get you, you got to come deal with that. I'm sorry, when Long Island come get you, you got to come deal with that or whatever like that. But they got to hold you in here at least seven days to see if the um to see if they come get you. So I'm like, all right, that's what's about to go down. She's like, yeah. I'm like, good. Boom. Yo, soon as I go, so I'm like, soon as I go back into the bullpen from talking to the lawyer, the same white dude who I stole, he's in the what's name too. But he's in there with mad different white dudes. I'm like, yo, this is crazy because they put me in a whole nother cell to go upstairs and get ready for court. But it's mad at the white dudes in there. So this nigga literally looked at me like, yeah, that's the fucking nigga that. And he literally said it just like that. I know it's going down the head too. 
All right, it's mad at y'all in here. It is what it is. Back up by the gate, squared up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. They got some dings in. It is what it is. Bowley's coming there. Cheryl's coming there. Take me out of the cell. They, it was all of them was pretty much like, you know, on me. But I'm like, my back is to like where the gate is at. So it's like they did a little damage, but not that much damage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool. It is what it is. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm not going to be here that much longer. It is what it is. They take me upstairs. The judge is like, oh, so you like fighting in jail? I said, what? Nah. I said, nah, they jumped me down in there. Ask the COs. They jumped me down in there. Oh, well, you couldn't avoid? No. I'm getting jumped in the cell by a whole bunch of whistling. Like, oh, well, look at that tone. I think you need to sit here a little longer and think about the decisions you're making in life. What? She gives me a court date for August 27th. Well, I'm in there. I'm in there wild. I'm in there wild. You, yada, yada, yo, I'm saying, yada, yada. They only had to leave me in there for seven days to wait for uh, Suffolk County to come pick me up. That's it. And if Suffolk didn't get in us within those seven days, they got to let me go. Nope. She want to be the stupid. Not even hearing like, yo, I'm down there getting jumped by a white dude. She don't want to hear none of that. She's looking at me. Yo, I'm telling you, that, yo, listen, that system never go to Dunkirk and get locked up. It's so racist up there. Never go to Dunkirk and get locked up. Now I'm tight. Now I'm back on the bus going back to jail. Now I'm tight. As soon as I walk in there. Y'all man, as soon as he come back in here, it's over. It's over. Y'all not on a breakfast cart no more. It's over. The leader go look at me, took my, oh, you don't make them crack, boop, boop. Instantly crack. They drag me out of there. You right to the hole. Right to the hole. They hole is terrible with Dunkirk. Right to the hole. Now I'm sitting in the hole for two weeks. In the hole, you get nothing. No commissary. Ain't nobody to trade your uh, trades to. Nothing. You literally got deodorant. You got uh, soap. You got toothbrush, toothpaste, and your little cup to sip water out of it. You get your regular meals per day. That's it. But the other dudes come back in a week. They got me in there for two weeks. <laughs> this is crazy. Now I come out the hole. And when I come out the hole, I'm like, all right, these last two weeks, I'm chilling. Because I noticed this lady could still dismiss my charges and still make me wait another seven days for Suffolk County to come. <clears throat> I'm not trying to do all that. I'd have been in here since June. It's now August. I'm now. Nah, I'm about to come in these last two weeks, play my position. I get back. They don't even put me on the um, they don't put me on the same floor that I was on. Put me on a whole nother floor. This floor is kind of like laid back, low key, chilling. They're like, oh, what floor you just came from? Came from yada, yada, yada. Oh, you was on the gang floor. What? They was like, you must have gang, um, gang ties on your record in order for them to put you on that floor. But I'm like, everybody on that floor not a gang member. He was like, they probably was. They was probably either like, they was probably MS-13, they was probably Latin King, or they was probably Bloods or Crips or GDs, or he was like, they was probably... He was like, they consider the Muslims in the 5% in here gang too if they get in this. I said, really? That's crazy. I'm thinking about it, that's all that was on that floor. So I'm like, all right, cool. For the most part, it is what it is. I'm going to come on this floor. I don't know nobody. I'm going to chill. I got two weeks in here. Good. So that's what I do. I'm chilling. I'm watching TV. Everybody in there, they, the cops is like their favorite. Uh, the, the irony. Y'all in jail and cops is y'all favorite show. Y'all sit there watching people just get arrested. I, I don't get it. But I'm talking about like when cops come on. You got the, I'm talking about, they run to the table. You hear that TV crank up? What you going, what you going, going to do? I be like, y'all, yo, these are the same people that probably brung, yo, y'all crazy, son. Sitting here watching cops, so I'm chilling. Two weeks. Now I go back to court. My aunt come up there, she like, I need you to just be quiet. I am need you to just be quiet. I am need you not say nothing. I am need you to just be quiet in here. Answer the judge's questions, that's it. I got you. Get back up there to the judge. Same judge. She like, oh, did you have a chance to think about? I said, yeah, Your Honor. I'm sorry for the way I acted in here, too. It'll never happen again. So I promise you, as soon as I get out of here, going right back to Long Island. She was like, that's right. Because I talked to the Suffolk County um, probation office, and they said they was going to come get you. So we're going to dismiss your charge today. But we have to give them seven days to come back, you know, to give them a chance to, to extradite you. This is what it is. 
But if they don't come within the seven days, you get to go home. All right, cool. Good money. So when I say I'm sitting in there, I go now, I go back from court, back to the same what's name I go. I'm chilling. I'm watching cops now. What you go? What you gonna do? Yo, I'm in there chilling. I'm just eating noodles, drinking juice, chilling, watching TV. We ain't doing nothing wrong. The sixth day come up, and I'm like, whew. I'm like, yes. Nobody's here yet. I'm going. I can't even sleep that night because I'm like, yo, if they come in the morning, I'm going to be super tight. Because remember, I still got my two and a half OZs. I still got my uh, my money. Everything is still over there. I'm like, I don't want to go back to the city without this stuff. But if I end up going back down there, as long as I'm not sitting in jail, it is what it is. See what I'm saying? It's not like it's something I can do to avoid around it. It is what it is. So I stay up that whole night. So the morning come and all I hear is curry. They don't say nothing. Normally other jails, you know, they'll tell you what's going on. They don't say nothing. Go downstairs, they like change to see your regular clothes, yada, 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 boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I don't heard mad stories though. They'll release you and then the cops will be there to rearrest you. So what? So I get out after three hours being downstairs doing my release papers and all that. I get outside and I look around and there's nobody near there. Pew! What? You never seen a big six, four, three hundred pounds that just get up out of there like that? What? In Suffolk County, if y'all was there, y'all got to catch me. But nobody was there. They didn't come extradite me. So I'm like, all right, cool. Nobody extradite me too. So from it's like thirty blocks from the courthouse to, but I don't got no money. I didn't make no phone call. Or nothing. And I'm not standing around there waiting. I'm out of there. I walk all the way back to the smokehouse. Barely knew where I was going. I had to ask people like how to get there. Like it was crazy. End up walking a long way. That's why it took me so I'm li listen. Finally make it there though. So so I knock on the door. They looking at me. Yo, like listen, there ain't nobody been getting no updates or nothing. Nobody came up to the jail for no visits. Nobody didn't drop off no package. Nobody, I'm saying nothing. Nothing. They see me the one the day after I got locked up two and a half months ago, and that was it. So now I'm like, yeah, they like, yo, I'm like, niggas. Y'all niggas couldn't bring me a dollar or nothing. I'm like, all the money is sitting in my pocket. Old Contraire is not sitting in your pocket. A nigga LG tells me, hey. The uh, car got impounded after that. They had time to look and go through the DMV database. Not even for that reason. For something totally different. Like a week later. Car ended up getting impounded. He paid the impound fees with my money. Paid the impound fees with my money. And I know what y'all thinking. Why didn't he use his own money? So we're going to do a little zoo, 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 do a little Do a little rewind. So while I was in jail, LG was at the club. So A, he was smoking the rest of the two and a half. I kind of knew that that was going to happen. But I didn't want nobody touching my money. Nobody. Smoke that, I understand. He going to the clubs with his girls. The first girl ended up trying to sell her to the undercover. To the undercover. Not even a lot of undercovers up there. White dude, I told him, don't he like, yo, the white dudes pay the more. I'm telling you, stop having these girls mess with the white dudes up here. You don't know what it's like up here. We don't deal with that in New York. You know what I'm saying we don't deal with that in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying now white dudes running around trying to, at least not in, not at least not in Brooklyn and Queens. It is what it is. So one of the girls end up getting locked up. So he like, I, right, I'm down to one girl. See what I'm saying? So he takes an ounce of my ounce and sells it. And then while he's selling it, probably like a week later, the other girl ended up getting locked up because she got caught in the act with the what's name. Now, this girl looked older. She had a she had a thick body. No, I had no idea that this girl was only 17 years old. What? So not only did she get locked up, they sent her back to her parents. It was a whole big deal. So now I'm locked up. He ain't got pretty much no weed left. Both of the prostitutes locked up and the car's impounded. 
So you know what he's doing. This guy's just using my money the whole two and a half months to make sure he's eating. I'm like, yo, if you wasn't my cousin, I would have just, did. you know what, though? It is what it is. Tell me you got enough money for us to get back to the city. The bus is $78 for uh for us to get down there. Tell me you got enough money to get back down there. Nope. What? Come on, son. You got to be killing me. He like, yo, I got $10 in my pocket right now. <sighs> Family. Family. This is stuff you got to deal with. You got to take losses that you would never take losses in the streets with. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, son. How are you going to get back to the city, son? No money. <coughs> So now we got no weed, got no prostitutes, got no car, got no money. And we're eight and a half hours away from where we live at. We got $10 in our pocket. What are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do, LG? How are we going to survive? I got to get, yo, listen, I got to get out this town. Probation know where I'm at? I got to get out this town. You're going to find out what happened on the next one. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from my Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. And you have been tuned in to the one and only Dirt Gang TV. And if you like the content, you know what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And if you rock it with us, man, you know what it is. Hit the like button. It's a thumb. Turn it from white to blue. And if not one, put up two, man. Dirt Gang, man. We rolling, man. Nice street.